Today we go over new details of Supreme Leader Snoke in Star Wars The Last Jedi. This is Mike Zero here once again. If you guys are new here to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, it is greatly appreciated. Now, Supreme Leader Snoke, one of the new villains introduced in the sequel trilogy in The Force Awakens and makes his return in The Last Jedi portrayed by Andy Serkis himself, we will be going into new details about this character, so we will be heading into spoilers. You have been warned. So for starters, when it comes to Supreme Leader Snoke, next to Snoke's throne lies a golden staff with an ornate pattern around it. This could be the same object Andy Serkis was holding in the behind-the-scenes photo of The Last Jedi. Next up, over the throne we see a high-tech metallic structure, which is believed to be what is used to project himself as a hologram. A scene was shot between Driver and Circus at Pinewood of Driver slamming an object into the ground in front of Snoke. This is most likely the helmet he later destroys. And lastly, unlike the Emperor's throne room, Snoke's throne room appears to have no windows, but rather holographic displays. Now I want to go over a couple of these pointers here about Supreme Leader Snoke in this film. And one of the big things is this golden staff. Now we did see this old behind the scenes photograph of Circus on the set of The Last Jedi over at Pinewood a long time ago of him holding a staff. I believe that's the same exact one. Though it wasn't colored gold, it was all covered in motion capture stuff. I believe that is the same exact staff that Snoke will actually have next to his throne. In fact, in case you guys didn't know, Snoke is obsessed with wealth. He's obsessed with money. He's a real rich figure in the galaxy, and I really do believe that he's connected to the casino city of Cantobite on the planet Cantonica. The other thing that I do want to go over, all right, is the scene that was shot between Adam and Andy. Now, Adam and Andy did have a scene at Pinewood in which Kylo Ren slams an object, as it states, into the ground in front of the Supreme Leader. Most definitely, this is Kylo Ren's helmet. We did see that in the teaser trailer, his helmet is shattered to bits, right? There's practically nothing left of it. And it really makes one wonder exactly why would Kylo Ren destroy his helmet? Well, a couple of months ago, according to, to MakingStarWars.net, all right, they said that Kylo Ren is trying to prove himself to Snoke. So when I hear that, I believe that Kylo Ren is trying to prove himself to Snoke that he doesn't need a helmet. He doesn't need a mask to cover the scar that Rey gave him on Starkiller Base. And we do know that there's going to be a scene between these two in which Snoke actually lectures Kylo Ren about his grandfather, Darth Vader all the more so, just like in the novelization of The Force Awakens. We're going to get something like that. And I definitely do believe that Kylo Ren will learn that he actually necessarily doesn't need to wear a helmet like his grandfather who had injuries who needed the helmet. So that could play another role into why Kylo Ren takes the helmet off and slams it into the ground. So guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments section. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.